right, welcome back. Sorry for my absence. I haven't been on Twitch for a hot minute. Kind of been doing a bunch of stuff IRL. So we are doing the Xbox and Bethesda live conference today. Finally getting to witness some gameplay of Starfield. Be getting some reactions. Um, we'll actually get to see how different Starfield is for when it actually comes out compared to what we see today, which is pretty exciting. I um, got some stuff in store for the Finesse family. Let me turn my shit down a little. <clears throat> um, I am working on a Last of Us Part 2 movie. It has taken me months to edit and stuff. Also, I haven't been going as hard as I should have a couple of those days. And been playing a new game called Project Z, Project Zomboid, and it's kind of hitting the feels right now. I've been wanting to make some content on that for you guys. Kind of a fun top-down survival. It's like a Daisy mixed with Sims, and I need to get it on the PC and edit it for you guys. Kind of want to sit on that a little bit though, uh, get some ammunition, and then post a bunch of videos. That way, you know, you guys got something to watch. What else? What else is uh, new? Two minutes until um, till showtime. I think we pretty much just kick it. Is that the right one? We know that everyone has been eager to see Starfield. Yeah. Our show today are. has Get highlighted gameplay. <laughs> so it's only fitting that we end it with an extended first look at one of the most anticipated games in Xbox okay. history. Todd Howard's this hitting the stage, Starfield. right? I'm pretty sure you said that in the beginning. Let's go. Mute myself. Maybe I'm not gonna mute myself because I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna share my thoughts. Give us color filters. That was it. Imagine. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We are so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. Okay, where they started us out in the trailer. This is gonna be crazy. If that was the Bethesda stream or what, but it was some pretty pixelated dust. But not looking good, looking good. Here we go. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Just looks like a really good No Man's Sky so far.
of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Cyberpunk vibes. No Man's Sky mixed with Cyberpunk. some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. It's a halo. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the settled system cities look really cool. With other priorities. That moon planet looked pretty boring and shit. The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Steph. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. 
We are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity. Forever. Looks cool. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with <laughs> unique funny. advantages and disadvantages. What I miss. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with the resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. I like how that's the weapon mod they show us. The ugly ass clip. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one. And you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. That's cool, that's cool. But it's no man's that's sky, not but... all. You can even build your own spaceships. How? That would be cool. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. <clears throat> okay, reminds me of like There's the gummy ships and modules, uh, ship manufacturers and more. Kingdom Hearts. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. It's That's not dope. just how the ship looks, it's how it performs. From engines to shields to weapon systems. Because yes, you can fly it. Frosters boosted. Some space flight gameplay, that's cool. Okay. I can't wait to rewatch this with like 4K footage. I think I seen pieces mesh though. I was hoping that each piece was like a, a particle, you know, bounces off or something. Oh, bro, they released a freaking Rick and Morty looking type of game. Looks pretty cool. Open world style looking. can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today That's and thanks it. for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. 
You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. I was gonna we say, they better make it pretty damn big like No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I was a little worried at the beginning of this trailer, or at this showcase. It looks good. Tell me people aren't going to be asking for like multiplayer, or like at least co-op or something. Not bad, not bad. I'm excited. Early 2023 is what I've heard. Heard a leak on Game Pass. Hmm. That's so crazy. Day one on Game Pass. That was a Halo ship for Flight Sim. Get a little, quick little recap. Arc two, bro. Yeah, they teased Arc two for a split second, but didn't really show any gameplay or nothing. Didn't talk about it. It does look really good. Wasn't that hype of a conference though for it being like their next gen game and stuff? I thought for sure they would have had like Todd Howard give us some entertainment. It was a pretty straightforward and short but sweet. What are my final thoughts? I was expecting a little more. I was a little worried at the beginning. Like, it looked like some No Man's Sky mixed with Cyberpunk, dude. I was like, really? I don't know, kind of... Kind of shocked me. Yeah, um... That was my reaction. I'm glad the No, uh, no Man's Sky, now I'm just calling it No Man's Sky. Glad the Starfield looked better than the beginning of it i was about to get worried all right y'all catch you on the flip love you all peace